Alrighty. So, today we're going to show off our wonderful brandy new decomponentizer. Ah, you can see here, I was looking at the hose sizes. But, alright, so, some of you people who have been to Radio Shack probably recognize this. It's got that little bulb that goes on the end right here. And you kind of heat it up with this little end and it goes, and you go, and it sucks stuff up. Well, I happen to have this guy hanging around with it's got a built-in built-in uh, filter which is important in this hose and it lets us do some real cool things because basically I flip this switch and it sucks so you can do some very cool stuff like you can see I've got a pile of components here I've been decomponentizing boards and I mean this is really easy I got this for 20 bucks at a surplus store you know, it's pretty easy to add a switch to something. I'm eventually going to have a foot switch, but for now, normal switch. Um, and this was like 15 bucks on clearance from Radio Shack, and then it was 5 bucks for this hose. Uh, so, making your own one of these, real easy. But anyway, let me uh, get this board in here, and uh, i got to build a real stand for this. <laughs> um, but get this real bo board in here, and we are going to desolder some stuff. And show you just how kick ass this thing is. I think we're gonna go for this piece right here. Let's turn so you can actually see it. Very important for you to actually see what I'm doing. You know. But we're gonna get you a nice freaking close up of this thing. Maybe it's gonna focus right. Yeah, there we go. We are focused correctly. Let me get my schnergly wires all set up here. All right. Now, check this out. Gone. Focus. Come on. Man. It just. Hold on. There is apparently a way to make this thing focus. Webcam controller. No more. See? There we go. Manual focus. Don't let the fucking computer do it. All right. And we do the next one. And the component, as you can see there. Ugh, ow. Hey, it's still hot. Just falls right out with no damage whatsoever. Oh, sorry. I mean, we can just we can just go through here and just start here. For example, we can also do big stuff like this. Get it all nice and melty, and suck it up. And this one's probably going to take one or two. But, oh, there's no nothing actually really attached. Ow! Hey, it's hot. But, eh, that's just a wire, though. What are the components? Here we go. This is another connector. go and it falls off and hits my leg all right we got a nice big power resistor Ooh. you can hear there my uh, compressor oh and it falls right out uh, this compressor is a little uh, a little sucky, and by suck, sucky is a good thing in this case, um, but uh, it uh, continues sucking after I hit the valve. And this is an inductor, which now, this one has a little bit of glue on it, but you can see, I very easily can pull that off. Now i got a nice filter inductor. 
here behind me. Printer going. Whee! What else we got? All right. Need some, some of this stuff. Yeah, and in case you're wondering, right. basically I have to have this vise here because in order to actuate this, I have to have my hand here to flip it on and off. Oh, and we got a diode. Like, as you can see, like this, this thing is the freaking best. It's so much better than having to hit the soldering iron and the other thing. And once I have a foot thing, I'm going to be able to do stuff like heat up wires and suck the solder off of the wire while I'm holding it. And just, this opens up all the doors. Also, it makes it very easy to harvest components off of printed circuit boards you rip out of goo. So, I mean, like this board... Yeah, he's got all kinds of stuff. And with surface mount stuff, you still want to use uh, use some flux and some uh, I have it. Yeah, and some of the uh, um, the braid, the solder braid. But uh, I mean, for through hole stuff, you really can't beat this. This is basically this is the tool that the pros use to do solder through hole stuff. So, ow. The other thing is sometimes you desolder parts and you don't remember what they were. You can see the capacitor just fell out and hit me in the leg. What a good thing to have hit me in the leg. Ugh. And you can see here, it all builds up inside the little clear hose, which is really cool because with the clear hose, you can actually see it. And I actually haven't opened up this filter yet to check, but I do know that the filter is designed for this. This, this pump is actually really designed for a solder sucking thing. Um, I looked up the data sheet. And it actually says applications vacuum desoldering. So I'm pretty sure this filter will work just fine. Um, and if you're worried about the temperature, the heat, um, this uh, this hose is easily long enough that the solder is nice and cool by the time it's back all the way over there. So I am not worried about that. But I mean, like, look at all the good stuff I'm getting out of here. It's freaking awesome. I mean, people just throw this shit out, and then people just don't want to pull all the parts off of here because it's a pain in the ass. But I mean, once you got one of these babies, there's no turning back. Why would I buy components anymore. I mean, because most of the components I'm buying are like big power transistors and stuff. And uh, you can buy old broken computer power supplies for like, you know, six bucks. And then you can pull all the freaking parts off of it and you get isolation transformers, you get inductors, you get massive capacitors. I mean, like, it's freaking awesome. I have a feeling I'm going to like having this thing. And right here we got an opto isolator and this is actually really useful for the uh, for the little board I'm trying to build up here. There's a homemade laser power supply with a uh, a Fly a television flyback transformer, um, and in order to do that well, without uh, risking all the flame and smoke, we got to make sure. <laughs> he 
It's so funny to hear it keep on sucking. I think it's loud. Alrighty. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's riveting to watch me desolder, so. Boop! Ah! God, that's awesome! So good day. Nope. I don't know, I wish this thing had some more power. Maybe we can find a better line. See y'all, everybody.